I don't know about you guys, but on Thanksgiving, I have zero time to make breakfast because it's so crazy and hectic in my house. So I wanna show you guys a super simple recipe that you can make the night before so you have a super quick, easy breakfast in the morning. These are my apple cinnamon overnight oats. It tastes like fall in a jar, you guys. They're so good. You've got a really creamy, sweet oatmeal with fresh, crispy apples on top, the warmth from the cinnamon, and it all goes so well together. And you only need a few ingredients. Starting off with some almond milk. You can use regular milk if you want, but I try to stay away from dairy. Then some rolled oats. Make sure they're not steel cut oats because otherwise it's not gonna absorb the milk and make it thick enough. Some honey for sweetness. Some chia seeds, this is also gonna help thicken it up, but they're also super good for you, so it's adding a superfood in as well. Cinnamon, the, it's like the fall flavor, so we need that. Then to top it off, we're gonna add on some slivered almonds for some crunch. And we're also gonna add on some chopped up apple for the apple cinnamon aspect of it. And the last thing you're gonna need is a mason jar. You can do this in a regular container if you want, but mason jars just make it so much cuter and I use them whenever I can. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start off by putting in some of our rolled oats. This is a half cup of rolled oats. We're just gonna add this right in here. Next, we're gonna add in our almond milk right over top. <laughs> then we're gonna add in our honey. So we have two teaspoons of honey that's gonna go right in. Then we're gonna add in our chia seeds. Then we add in our cinnamon, and we mix the whole thing together. You wanna make sure it's really well mixed together and combined, and mine is looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on. We're gonna stick this in the fridge overnight so that all the flavors can melt together. The oats are gonna absorb all the milk and become really thick and creamy, and it's gonna be Perfect, so this is my breakfast for tomorrow morning, but last night I actually made another batch right here, and as you can see, it's thickened up for sure. And now we just gotta add on our toppings and then taste. The thing about the apple is you can totally peel it, but I think the red color is so gorgeous and I wanna keep it. Plus there's a ton of nutrients in the skin, so why not? And we're gonna cut it into really small bite-sized pieces. The key is taking photos of your food when it looks this good and then post it on social media. Because if you didn't even take a photo, then did you even eat it, right? Now that you've taken your photos and we're about to taste, it is time to mix it all together so that the apples and almonds get evenly incorporated. Look at that. You can already see how thick and creamy it is. And now is the time where if you want it a little bit looser, you can add in some more almond milk if you want, sort of in like a cereal-esque way. But I like my oatmeal and my overnight oats super thick, so this is like perfect for me. Mm -hmm. mm. It's just so good, you guys. It's amazing that without even cooking this oatmeal, it's still super thick and it's creamy and the oats have absorbed all the almond milk and all of that cinnamon flavor. The apples add this amazing fresh element on top. You've got the crunchy, nutty almonds. And literally we just added stuff into a jar, you guys. How easy is this breakfast? So whether you make this for Thanksgiving morning or even just a school morning, it's gonna be so helpful because literally you do all the work the night before and in the morning you just grab it and go. It's gonna give you a ton of energy and it's perfect for the fall weather. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys liked the video and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody.